Alzheimer's. What they forget to tell you. Episode. We're not doing that yet. Kalina has to come on. Oh. So hi. Because we're not doing that yet. Hi. <laughs> Everybody. Who's not here yet. Hi. <laughs> hi, Melina. What was that show? Oh, there. Okay, so add. Nadira. Where is Kalina? Right there. Where? I'm going to sneeze. Okay, so we can do it now. I tried to add. Kalina, go off and... Oh, wait, whoa. What, where'd she go? Experiencing some technical difficulties. They can't join at this time. Oh, Why? Says they can't. How come? I don't know. Oh, man. Are we experiencing te technical? No, we did. Apparently, we're on. Okay. All right. All right, so we'll just start because it's taking long. Oh, sorry, guys. My sinuses are like... Oh, my God. I'm so tired. I'm sweating and... Snotty. Well, I wish I was snotty. I'm stuffy. Wanting to be snotty. Okay, so now we have to introduce again. Okay, go. Alzheimer's. What they forget to tell you. Episode. Why are you whispering? Am I whispering? Oh my god. Sorry. Alzheimer's. What they forget to tell you. Episode. 25. Vent sank. Pardon? 25. You're not bilingual. I'm trilingual. Okay. All right. Me too. Hi. <laughs> Is there more to that? Kalina can't come on. I don't know what's going on. She's watching though. Yeah, but that's not the point. She can't come on camera. We wanted her. Mm -hmm. uh, should we... Kalina... Bring Kalina on camera. Howdy. Hi guys. We are all new to this uh, Facebook Live thing, so we're learning as we go. So just, uh, we appreciate your patience. Just trying to figure it all out. In the meantime, how are you? Not good. Elaborate. Oh, there she is! Hang on, I gotta back up. Oh, there she is. Oh my yes. gosh. I had to turn my phone sideways. See? You, you figured it out. Yeah. Learn as you go. Yep. Oh, oh, hey, Wendy. Oh, hi. <laughs> we got to turn it up because we can barely hear her. Or okay, is there a way do, that we can... Well, do you know how to do that? Because I don't. Okay. Let's see if we can turn Kalina up here. Um, you, don't you have an iPad? I do, but it's, I think it's on the other side. Listen, my children use the iPad. I don't use it. Oh. Okay. Kalina, can you hear us? Yes. Can y'all hear me? Yes. yes. Am I talking loud? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, uh. <laughs> Is there like a delay? Okay, well, Kalina is in Alabama right now. Yes, Alabama. And she's a caregiver to her grandmother. Oh, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the phone's well, not. There is some technical difficulties as well. Man down. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess this. Okay, what? finish? No, because then she's going to come off the screen. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like trying to. Ooh. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you props for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hi, leading lady. Hello, Gian. Hello, Anthony. Um, everybody that just actually tuned in, because we're just hey, noticing. Jim. Oh, she can hear. Okay. Sorry. <laughs>
No problem. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> interrupt what? I didn't know. I don't know if we had like a slight misconnection, but I didn't know. I, I think I interrupted you, Wendy. <laughs> I was saying hey to no Uncle problem. Jim. No <laughs> problem. No problem. Good. So just saying hello to everybody that's tuning in right now. Um, we have Kalina on with us this week. As Karen was saying before, Kalina is uh, actively actively taking care of her grandmother, who is going through the disease as well. Um, Kalina, you can explain or maybe share a little bit of your experience thus far caregiving for your grandmother. That would be great. And maybe just um, share some things that you're going through, some questions you might have for her too, to kind of compare the U.S. and Canada and stuff like that. So... I think Kalina, she has a, a great perspective. So you want to just start, like, um, just give a kind of, like, background on how you started caring for your grandmother. Yes. Uh, my grandfather passed away in 2015. He was uh, my grandmother's caregiver, I suppose. And so when he passed away, I came in. To stay with her so she wouldn't have to go into nursing home. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Okay. And how long have you been caregiving? Since 2015. Mm -hmm. And, and full-time. Yeah. Well, I get uh, Monday through Friday, 24 off and then I get Saturdays and Sundays I have a little break my aunt and uncle rotate weekends for me to give me a break That's, oh, okay. and so we were talking earlier um, about how isolating it is right and yes how, yeah it's very isolating like you don't and I also have isolated myself. I'm, I mean, isolate myself from my friends yeah. because I feel like no one can relate to what I'm going through. And uh, it's just very isolating. I have no human contact. And when I say that, like my heart's pounding because the one lady that I used to confiding in with everything can no longer you know respond understand doesn't know my name yeah does she but, have all yes oh oh sorry to hear that you didn't know my grandmother had it no I, you said the person that you could Oh, she's talking so, about her okay. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I can. So just... it's like a double loss. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See how painful that is for you. And Rob, yeah, she is very young. So this is just a. How old are you again, Kalina? If you don't mind. Oh, it will get banned. Not oh yes. No, 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 no. Don't do it. You can tell me after. <laughs> I'll write it in the comments. I'll tell you why after. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this Facebook. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You can't talk about age. Like, there's a yeah. period. So, don't forget. Okay, okay. I forgot. Yeah, don't forget. The um, irony. And Cheryl is saying that that's my daughter. She uh, is the best. Yes. Yes, you can see is. that. Yes, Thank you, Mom. Huge sacrifices at such a young age. But you know what? For our loved ones, it's almost like a, it's not even a thought. You just do it because you love your loved one, right? So... Yeah, our hat is off to you for sure, because uh, I, I sympathize. I can't even imagine how difficult that must be for you. I was, how do I say my age when I was looking at, when I started with my mom? Don't. You were It was entering, 18 years ago. Mm -hmm. You were entering your... <laughs> so, that should tell you how old I was. <laughs> yeah, why are they so sensitive about numbers? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't like to mention it either. I don't like to bring it up either because I feel like I look older for my age. So Wait, let's just leave it. Didn't you see the comments? They're saying you look so young. You're so young. They think you're young right now. Because she is. I know. But, like, I mean, she's she is in, young. In perspective. Yes. 
Okay, yeah. let's move on from the age thing because this is yeah. Oh, I'm tapping on it from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So, you know, um, and again, if this becomes a little bit difficult for you to speak about it, let's switch the subject or move on to something different because I, I know it can you know trigger certain things. Um, you did have some questions about the comparison between the states and Canada. In what way? What were we talking about exactly? Um, okay, so you said when your grandfather passed, you took on the care. So he was doing that full time, I guess. Like, how long? How long has your grandmother had it? She was diagnosed in two thousand and twelve, but oh. we saw signs before then. You know. Yeah. But the actual diagnosis was in 2012. Right. right. What were some of the signs, if you don't mind me asking, that you guys saw before that made you want to go and get her tested? Okay, sure. Like, uh, we were noticing, or my family was noticing checks being sent off for to pay bills, like, twice. Or my grandmother was driving down a road, particular... Uh, that is, she drove down her whole life that I know of, Brian Road, and she was telling me she was on the way back from the grocery store, and she said, all of a sudden, I didn't know where I was. Mm. And I was like, that was really scary thinking, because she had driven this road at least, yeah. like, like years that I know of. <laughs> so, uh, just several little things like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, so when you guys took her to the doctor, the doctor told you guys right away, yes, she actually does have Alzheimer's, or was it a, a series of tests she had to go through, or? Um, I was not actually there, but I do believe there was, there was actually a series of tests. And at first, it came back as some um, some sort of cognitive, uh, I can't think of the word, but her cognitive your, function wasn't. Your mom is saying that she fed the dog a box of treats in one day. Oh dear. Oh yeah, because she would always feed Tex. She loved this dog. <laughs> but um, back to the question, it was, I think she was, it started in 2012 with the doctor, but maybe the year before 2013, 2014, they actually said she has Alzheimer's. Am I correct, Mom? Well, it's, it'll take her a lot of time. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think that's I think that seems to be similar even with my mom's case. Um, she was diagnosed in 2000. But she was acting a little bit not herself, not her normal self, like in 99 and 98. Mm -hmm. Like you can see like certain things that were different. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they do say um, Alzheimer's or dementia itself, you probably have it 10 years prior to diagnosis. So that would make sense. So, yeah, maybe I have it now. Don't know, why do you say things like that? I feel that every time I cannot remember anything. I'm like, there. do I have it? Here you go. Do you know one time, this is like, I can't remember how, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to tell you. Remember. <laughs> I was at the gas station. This is like years ago. Like I'm talking about maybe seven years ago, eight years ago. I was at the gas station and I was filling my tank and I'm like, Who's the idiot that is didn't shut off their their car? <laughs> Me. And I locked myself out of my car while it was running, pumping gas at the gas station. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> so, you know. But I think it's just stress sometimes, you know. Too much to do, too much on your mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, what else do you want to talk about? Oh, so, all right. So when you started looking after your grandmother, were there any supports right away? As far as outside of the family? No, like, um, I guess what I'm talking about, I'm trying to compare the two, like, 
Alabama and Ontario, like if you got any personal support worker hours, any, was there any subsidized hours? Was there any help other than you? No? No. Well, of course, uh, my mom helped some in the beginning and she had a stroke. And then uh, right. just my aunt and uncle on the weekends, they would switch out weekends, but no other support from So there's outside. nothing set up in terms, okay, we have a thing, um, we have a, an organization called, it used to be called Community Care Ass Access Center, and now it's LIN, which is I think, the Local Health Integration Network, so which is um, an agency well, it's part of our healthcare system. So they will send a case manager in your home to assess like needs and then a lot, a certain amount of hours that you are covered for, which you don't have to pay. So there's nothing like that there. Mm. So when you make the decision to actually take care of your loved one in home, it all falls on you. There's absolutely no assistance from coming from anywhere from the state or the government? Um, I suppose, okay, like for instance, whenever my grandmother fell and fractured her hip last summer, uh, she was sent to a 21 day rehab facility. And then after um, home health, not hospice, just home health came in the home and her Medicaid paid for this. Okay, uh, kind of, I guess. So it has to be, I guess, symptomatic. So I'm assuming okay. if you have a cognitive, which is sad, so I just want to understand. So if you have a cognitive or neurological issue, you don't get assistance. It has to be a physical issue. Because how did you get hospice? Like, why is it different now? Um, okay, the home health, they were coming out every two weeks, and they just felt like they weren't doing enough. Uh, they told me about hospice, and I told my aunt and everything about hospice. They called my aunt and uncle, and there was a nurse come out and assess us, and my grandmother qualified. So, um, I guess. No, nope. I guess I think that's the difference. I think hospice here is like end of life. Like that's how it used to be here. Okay. Like when you thought how like when you heard hospice was coming out to someone's house, you knew that it was going to be soon. Yeah. And yeah. so when they were like, "Do you need hospice?" I was like, "No, no, no." But it's a total myth now. Like I think there's two different types now. Uh, the kind we're on right now doesn't necessarily mean end of life yeah. is coming soon. Yeah, because like I see some of the videos too, even with your grandmother, and she's like, like my mom is like way past that, like completely, right? Like she's right. really like. So that's what was confusing to me with the definition of hospice, because here, as like I said, you have to be within three months palliative. of, but not just palliative, you have to be three months of death, basically, okay. to qualify here for someone to come in the home and fully take over. Or I guess I probably would get more hours um, if my mom had other health issues. So like, I guess if she was on any machines or, you know, but like her morphine is liquid, right? So nothing, she's not on anything, like any needles or anything. So mm -hmm. that's probably another reason why she doesn't get the full 24 hour thing. She's not high maintenance. Mm, she's low maintenance. She's low maintenance. Like her daughter. No. <laughs> what if you drink water? Mm -hmm. what, what, what's that all about? Ooh. <laughs> I think that was too much. What are you trying to say? Just say it. We're all friends here. I'm hot. I'm just... Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> but the hospice here is great. Uh, they have five days that come in and help me three days a week. I mean, they could come five days a week, but we just decided three days a week. They help me. They help give my grandmother a bath, uh, shampoo her hair, and the nurse always also comes out uh, two to three times a week. Oh, I'm just going to pause you there. Why did you say that she can come five, but we only say three? Well, uh, just because we don't really get her out that much. And I don't think I, I don't want to say this sounding she doesn't need a bath every day because it's just easier on her. She doesn't like getting wet. She's a, like, she I just hates was... getting water on her. She's like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and it's, yeah. it's warm water. And yeah. so we, we turned it down to three days. Okay. I was just thinking, like, you were thinking, like, no. Because um, I just think any help that you can get, you should take. That's all. I was thinking from your perspective. Not hers, but okay. That makes sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Did your mom have issue too when she had to take a shower or a bath early on? No. 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 She so wasn't afraid of the water. But you know, like, we're like, where do you think I get it from? Like, you, did, you probably don't know this about, like, why don't you just tell her so she's not confused? Why do you have to keep drinking water every time? <laughs> just tell her. She thinks I have a problem. She has a problem. I do not have a problem. She has a problem. Well, we all have a little bit of problems. <laughs> well, like, who showers seven times a day? Who? Not shower okay, times. sorry, six. Who showers six times a day? She does. And then tells me, well, it's not a problem. I have to go home and shower again because it's only been six. You know she's exaggerating. Six times a day. You know she's exaggerating. Her. No. No. This one. No. We. I shower twice a day. Yeah, I've, I've done that before. No, this no. is harder every, when they get older. Like every, day. every day. And in the summer, it's worse. Okay? Every day. Wow. So I guess maybe that's why my mom doesn't have an so issue. So shower. clean, clean. I guess that's why. So when you're asking, does my mom, I think it's, she just recollects always. Yeah, right? They just like water. <laughs> We're just water people. <laughs> Anyways, no, I think that's probably why. That's probably why she doesn't have an issue is what I'm saying. She probably would, because I know like things, everything is confusing, right? So maybe a shower would, might be confusing. So Abigail says, my mommy with dementia wanted to shower a whole day. See? Then wow. Somebody wants to, you know, stay in the shower because maybe it's comforting. Yeah. It was horrifying to my grandmother. Mm -hmm. It's comforting. Not for her grandma. No, exactly. But, you know. Yeah, for you, for sure. Okay. okay so I want to show you something. If you want to bring it up. Sure. So Isabel, well, her name's Karen with a K. She spells it wrong. Isabel. Her name's Karen Potts. Isabel's her middle name. And um, I was fortunate to have have connected with her through another friend of mine. And she, I've never heard of these until now. Um, have you heard of Twiddle Muffs? She has, because I think I've seen her grandmother playing with really? something like this. Kalina, you've heard of Twiddle Muffs? Um, on Instagram? No, she hasn't. You posted something like a, maybe a week ago or, where you had your grandma. Oh, a quilt. Like a quilt. Yeah, like a quilt. Yeah, I saw her yeah. playing some sort of quilted fabrics and stuff like that. That's what reminded me of this. Uh, okay. Yeah. So maybe it's similar to this. Okay. So they're called Twiddle Muffs, but I think they're, they're from, I think basically started in, in England, in the UK. And I wish they had them when my mom was first diagnosed because um, they have a little, they have, I guess it occupies their time. their time. There's little things inside that they can play with because, you know, like they're always like fiddling. Yes. Um, 
even and all of them are different oh, and they're all recycled materials right yeah so and she, donated so little gadgets and, and I, stuff they can I play try, with. we are going to sell them because i it's all going to go towards alzheimer awareness and i want to give back to the people that actually do knit them on. Is, is that you put it on? Oh, it's a muff. You know what a muff? No, I don't. I'm new to this too. You're <laughs> introducing this thing. I am no different. Gosh. How do you put it? Both of your hands. Like this. In it? Like little, it's a muff. Yeah. So you go like this, and then it occupies their their hands, right? Like they're like, you know, and they fit. Fidget. fidget yeah. Fidget and even um, apparently they're made too for um, people that have autism. It's just to just keep them occupied with stuff to do with their hands. It's a good idea. Yeah, Great. Good. Also, women yeah. who like, like my grandmother sewed her whole life. So when she's doing that quilt, I'm thinking, I don't say, hey, do you want to play with your quilt? I just say, why don't you work on your quilt? You know? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. she always sewed. My mom, too. She did. Yes, your mom used to make my belly costumes. Yeah. Yes, she Aww. was a good sewer. Even when she first got uh, diagnosed, she would sew everything still. Is it winding? Yeah, it was giving me some spots. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good idea, too. I, I, I had, I, it, see, it would be a wonderful item. So, we're getting back to the twiddle muff. I believe that Karen and it's she sews with a, a group and they are doing this all for charity but I believe they should get paid for their their work and it should go to Alzheimer awareness so I was googling and um, on Amazon they're like $96 Say who? but there's no way yeah I know right like what's in there <laughs> oh, no. Actually, I don't know. I don't like to what's it. going on in that twiddle map. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> or something more is going on with that twiddle map on Amazon. But okay, uh, we're gonna just figure out a reasonable price. Like maybe I'm thinking maybe twenty dollars for each, and then we can give back so that they continue to make them because it's uh, an Alzheimer's society. A group of, of women that donate them. That's wonderful. That's really great work. And yeah, it's, really and it's nice. time, and it's I think it's great. And I wish I could have benefited from it, but I'm sure other people can. So my okay, sorry. I just want to read this here. My Jamie, mom. Uh, my mom passed this time last year. I remember the difficulty we had getting any assistance. Although she was immobile for the last two years, Medicare considered her care custodial in nature and therefore excluded her from medical covered be benefit. All of her care therefore fell to the family. Oh my gosh. The last two years, she was still trying to get out of bed, each time requiring short hospitalization. Her discharge would be followed by short-term stunts of home health and physical therapy. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, yeah. Jamie, aren't you in Alabama? I think she's in Alabama, too. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Karen. No, I'm, I'm finished. Because though she made no physical improvement, they don't... 10, 12 years later, it was stopped. So so we were getting back to what we were talking about. Alzheimer's, because it's such a cognitive neurological disorder, and it's not physical, I guess, in your state, they don't consider that to be an issue and maybe you only got care when your grandmother fractured her hip but mm -hmm. then it was physical right. that's, that's very unfortunate and that has to change yeah yes. that has to change we need to we need to uh, you know it's so challenging and it shouldn't matter if it's physical or cognitive an impairment is an impairment I agree so that's good to know. I'm glad that I found that out. And glad, thank you for sharing, Jamie. Thank you. Yes. Sorry to hear about your mom passing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to put a link on how you can get a twiddle muff if you. 
And even if, I think, we'll, 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 we'll figure something out, but I think, it, um, I think people should, should be able to get this. I really wish, honestly, I really wish my mom could have had one. I do too. I yeah. would say we were around back then. When yeah. Her sewing, she would have loved it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So, uh, anything else? I think that's, uh, that's, that's very informative. Too, so, because... Kalina, are you comfortable? You want to be a regular? Sure. First, at first, my heart was pounding. I could barely get my words out. I was so mad. Oh, girl, you got this. I know. I so got it down. You're a natural. Now you have to start dancing. I'll teach you how to do the robot. I have to work on the robot. Or yes. robot. Yeah, it needs work. It, it needs work. But but we'll, we'll go over it. I got some notes for you. Okay? We'll... Okay. Yeah, I've never mastered the robot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And again, just wanted to put it out there, you guys. Um... As usual, we're always grateful for the support and, you know, all of you tuning in, commenting and following. That means a lot to all of us. And thanks for everyone's concern about my health issues. That's all you got? I don't know what they are, so, yeah. She's feeling wow. better today, but That's we're still great. Yeah. I hope everything goes good with yeah. whatever it may be. Right. May you find some answers. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm looking for some answers. Yeah. Answers help. Yeah. So I have to do some more testing and then we'll see. Yeah. But you're good, man. You're good. You just need a little headlock. That's all. You just need a little chokehold. You're good to go. I got her. We good. All right, so we're going to wrap this up, or what's happening? Yeah, that was good. Thank you, Kalina, so much. Um, no problem, it means that we have a lot of work to do to advocate for people with Alzheimer's. For sure. And caregivers. And obviously, um, see, you did great. Your mom says you did great. Yes, she did. You guys are the real MVPs. Seriously. All you caregivers out there that are sacrificing your time and, you know, your patience and your love and everything, take care of the people that you love. You guys are the real MVPs. People don't understand what you guys go through in a day. And my hat is off to all of you. So don't ever, you know, don't ever sit there and think that you guys are not appreciated because you are to the moon and back and your loved ones, there's no words to express how they must feel if they knew what was really going on. You know, it's just, it's unconditional love. You guys are really great. Okay. So until next week, um, <laughs> what? You keep giving me side eye and I think I'll take it cause you're not feeling well, but then as soon as you like get better, that's it. That's a wrap. There's no more. So get it all in now. Bye, ladies. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> it was our pleasure. Anytime, Kalina. You are most welcome. We're grateful for you. And anytime. look, we figured out the thing. We can't tag you. That's the trick. We can't tag you. We can tag you after because then you can't come on. Yeah, I got the end bot. See? That was good. All right, so we'll do this again real soon. Everybody stay blessed, be blessed. Have a great week. Enjoy this long-awaited warm weather that's about to come. No pants. No pants. Woo! You guys, be awesome. All right, we will tune in next week, and we'll see you all then. Peace. And love. Bye.